Hello everybody, Zombie Slayer CJ here. Um, I recorded this before, but Bandicam was being pretty stupid. So this is a rail line I made up, uh, or a or a service I made up. It is called the Hoboken Express. Um, and I don't know why it stopped because I. I press nine instead. So pretty much you've got all these stations here. I'm going to tell you about them and I'm going to do a little like Randy thing at the end. So this is the express train because uh, to access station nine, Hoboken, um, you have to um, transfer at station eight. You cannot have, there's no more direct Hoboken service. So we are going to review these stations and I hope you guys enjoy this. And then I'm going to rant and I'm going to do some crazy videos first. All right. So we're going to start at the terminus at Dover station. Dover is the terminus of weekend service and electric service. Pretty much uh, it is a good area. Uh, you can get, if uh, you can, there's a lot of walking area around here. There's a lot of restaurants. Um, I wish the lines here were active so you could take a train to like, uh, to like McFarland Street and all that stuff. You can take all the train here. You can take the train to Rockaway. Um, uh, and then we're going to go to station number two, which is Denville. Uh, Denville is a, is a little bit stone's throw away. It's the second station on the route. Denville is the junction point of the weekday only part of the Montclair Boonton line, uh, that goes from Boonton. I mean, that goes from Montclair, uh, all the, I mean, yeah, that go, well, yeah, the, the weekend service, excuse me, goes, from Mont, uh, Bay Street, Montclair to Hoboken with transfer at the station, our station number eight, which is Newark Broad Street. On the on the weekdays, it most stations have service, though it is very truncated. The Boonton line is not like it was when uh, in the 40s when it was used mostly for freight. It was it's mostly a cutoff. See the Lackawanna Railroad. It's original owner had a lot of cutoffs freight like by cutoffs were pretty much like a bypass all right so now we hit my home station mars plains um oh come on no why did that happen no <laughs> you can see here um you have uh the mars plains uh to mars town express let me do that again actually Let me go here. So we skip over um, Mount Tabor Station and we go down here. And this is Mars Plain Station. Pretty much a lot of a lot of my friends that live in Mars Township go to Mars Plains, obviously. And it's close to like Greystone Park and everything. It's close to all this stuff. Not far from the station at all. And then we hit Mars Town. Now Mars Town, um, uh, over here I have... Um, the Mars Dairy Erie transfer. I don't know if I should have that, but if and when Mars Dairy Erie is, is like reopened as like a light rail or something, um, this station would be very important for the express because passengers that are going towards like uh, Roseland or like uh, Whippany or or wherever they can go there without like really issue. So we hit Mars Town and. Pretty much, I'm going to show you from this point on the stations that I'm going to avoid basically because if you want to get there, you can take a local train because usually these trains will be, will be 30, will be 30 minutes after the, the, the not like the local train. So like, let's say you have a train that's like at uh, 3.15 or 3.30. 
you know, uh, let's say on a Saturday, this train will be going 30 minutes before. So, and also when trains don't run like, like, okay, well, they're waiting to be serviced. These will be operating express trains to Hoboken, uh, mostly until it get the train gets to like it's like almost like the third track, pretty much. No, well, you know, what I mean, third track or west of Summit Junction or PND Junction. Now uh, we've got Convent here. Now I'm, I decided to skip Convent uh, for obvious reasons, just because it's not not as prominent i want to use this train would be good for using vintage equipment just because it's an express train um you have madison that we're going to avoid uh that's going to be part of the express train this is also uh this is not quite where it becomes three three tracks uh you continue eastbound you've got chatham chatham station uh you keep going uh, and now you've got summit that is station number five. And now we're going to avoid station number five and go all the way to South orange. This is way up the line. There's a couple, you know, if, if you don't, if you, you like a train ride that you don't have to stop a lot, there are only what, like seven, uh, seven through, through stops. So you're avoiding pretty much, you're avoiding Melbourne, Short Hills, you know, you're avoiding all those stations. But the reason I picked South Orange is it's a nice town. And also too, it's, uh, this is right by, uh, Seton Hall University, which is like right here. So it's a good walking distance. And plus, um, people who want to get there on the weekends. So Mountain Station, I avoided, um, I avoided uh, Orange Station. I avoided um, Brick Church. But basically, um, I mean, yeah, a lot of people live over there, but I uh, I prefer to put East Orange. That's the station. It's a good location, um, and that way that will be pretty good. And then this is Roseville Avenue. This, unfortunately, now this is not a station anymore, but this is a junction point of the Montclair branch, which is now the Montclair Booten line and the Marstown line. The station was, I think, closed down in 1984 um, for, for, for obvious reasons. But the, the reason for the station closure is now, if you want to get from the Montclair branch to the Marstown line, you you can take this station, which is station eight, which is New York Broad Street. I said this actually in the last video I recorded before I kind of messed up. Um, this station right here, light rail, New York Broad Street light rail, connects you to uh, Penn Station uh, Newark, which is the Gnosis Corridors station. This station was constructed in 1903. If you guys are big station nuts like I am, this is considered, this is like the Binghamton station in uh, Binghamton, New York, which is also Lackawanna territory, but this is more the Marstown line. The, this is the only, this is like a real like commuter line that still exists. Um, This is off University City, but I don't know, like, I don't, I mean, maybe this is Broad Street, I think. Maybe this is Broad Street. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why it's called Broad Street. Um, I think I think twenty one might be known as Broad Street. I don't. I don't really know. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because twenty one is known as okay. So I'm just gonna. Sh I just feel like doing this too. Um. Uh. So basically, um, you can take. A light rail, which is this light rail, take it all the way. This actually goes underground here, and it takes you to um, to New York Penn Station, which is one of the terminals of my Princeton Express train, or one of the stations. And this train actually has multiple 
Um, where, where, where is it? I thought, um, so these are all the trains that you can take with New York Penn. I didn't do that. So you have the Cardinal Crescent, Palmetto, Va Vermontier, uh, Silver Star, Carolina, Pennsylvania, which takes you pretty much to along uh, all the way to, to Pittsburgh. Um, you have Silver Meteor, Keystone Service, North East Corridor, uh, Line for New Jersey Transit, North East Regional, Raritan Valley, and North Jersey Coastline. So those are all the stations. And they're just a stone's throw away, pretty much. So it's just crazy um, to see. Now this is Route 21. The line pretty much parallels 21. This is recent. This was recently reconstructed. I've been following it a couple times. It's, it's it looks very nice. This whole replacement project. Um, try and replace the interchange between 21 and and 280. Um, improve everything on that front. So this will be the station if, if let's say uh, you want to go to, um, like let's say you want to get to one of the, like let's say you actually want to go on Penn Station. Well, you can get off this station, but it will probably f defeat the purpose. But like I said, this is mostly for Hoboken. And now we hit station number nine. Uh, this is... Uh, and you can see up the line that this is Hobo, that this is Secaucus Junction. Um, so I'm going to show you really quick. Uh, I'm going to turn it around really, really quickly. So this is the Bergen Tunnels. This is originally single track, but now uh, it it was recently constructed with four. So you have four tracks here. This, I think, is part of the old Erie line and everything. But I just think that this is a good that this is a good project in my opinion. See, because you've got the you've got the lines from here. This is Hoboken Junction, I think. Um, this has this is lines from Marstown, the three tracks going into Hoboken. This, I think, is part of the original Erie line. I, I'm pretty sure um, the original Erie line, it goes around here. Wait, no, that's not the original Erie line. No, that no, that's Path. What am I talking about? Um, all right, so... We're going to hit, look at station nine. Now, the reason I wanted to do a Hoboken train is because I have a lot of, like some of my cousins and I, some, uh, a couple of people that I know, they live in Hoboken and there's no way to get to this area, Marstown, Mars Plains, Marstown from, uh, Hoboken. So this service restores that original Lackawanna vision and it allows you to get there in half the time and avoid all these stations. Now, obviously, okay, well, we want to, we want a full train. And I mean, on the weekend, I, I mean, and you want to go to Hoboken. You, I'm, I'm recording. Yeah. This is actually path right here, I think. This is Hoboken Terminal. And I'm actually gonna show you really quick what Hoboken ter Terminal services. So you've got Port Jer you've got Gladstone Line, Port Jervis Line, Mars Essex, even though it is kind of serviceable. You've got Pascac Valley Line, Raritan Valley Line, Meadowlands Rail Line. Montclair Booten Line, mostly for weekend. You've got Main Line, Bergen County Line, and you've got North Jersey Coast Line. Port Jervis Line is one of my favorite rail lines. 
in New Jersey because it actually goes towards what's known as uh, Port Jervis, which is part of the southern tier. We're actually going to avoid that. I'm trying to do like a long video right now. I'm not going to really, um, but I'm just going to show you really quick um, that over here in, in Suffren, over here is the Suffren Train Museum. This is part of the original Erie line called the Piermont Branch. This goes to Piermont, New York. It's a very nice rail line and everything. It used to actually connect the Spring Valley and go all the way up to what's known as Heverstraw, uh, Heverstraw, New York. So now that we're in New York, you've got Slotesburg, um, Tuxedo, There's no station here, unfortunately. You've got Her uh, Harriman. This is the original junction point by where the original Erie line goes through Harriman, and there's a trail over here and everything. Um, and then this has, this is more straight. This goes towards Woodbury. There's no Woodbury Station, unfortunately. I mean, there is a big Commons Mall there. Um, it's pretty much mostly express. And then you've got um, Salisbury um, Mills Cornwall. Very nice. Very nice train. I really, I want to do this one day. Like get like a nice camera and just film the road, uh, the, the line. Um, You've got um, continuing along along this way. Um, this is another railway junction point. I think there might be something over here. Um, you can you continue over that way. Um, this is Campbell Hill. There's like a line over here. Um, there's a, there's a pretty much a caboose museum over here. I don't know where this line actually goes. Oh no, I know where this goes to. This originally connected by where the walkway over the Hudson is, um, went like Walden and everything. And then, yeah, I mean, New Platts and everything, Kingston. Um, so we're, you're right by Campbell Hill. That's Campbell Hill station. I think it's also a junction point, but I forgot of what like railroad it it really there's a junction of uh you've got more trains here a freight yard continuing uh eastbound you cross under interstate 84 this is on uh, middletown new york only served by one line I love with like railroad, like with Google or street view, I love looking at the whole, like the bridges and everything and just like what it, what it looks like. So I'm thinking, I'm continue. This is, this is uh, New York route 17, soon to be future 86. And there's a line over here that just splits off. I don't know what that that line is. Uh, and then you go, and then you keep going straight and straight and straight. And then uh, eventually you hit what's known as the Moon um, Moonwa Viaduct. I think there's a nice viaduct. This is a really long line. Or maybe I already uh, maybe you're. And then this is. Otisville or Oatsville, I don't know. And then there's a tunnel that you go into, a railroad tunnel. Um, the tunnel is actually over here. It goes under a valley and everything. And then, and then maybe the viaduct is around after that. And then the line continues. The line actually curves a little bit. Um,
It crosses over Route New Jersey, um, New York Route Six, not New Jersey. Um, you actually uh, right by over here where the uh, New Jersey state line is, like Sussex County and everything. It begins like right here, right by um, the tri-states. And then over here is finally Port Jervis. The original Port Jervis station, I think, is just right over here. Because I, um, my one of my mom's best friends, uh, yeah, this is Port Jervis station. Um, she, uh, he, he belongs to, like, I think the Elks. And I, I don't know if you guys remember. So this is the original Erie Port Jervis station, but I guess it was sold off. This is the original station right here. It's used for medical offices, and there's actually a crossing over here that unfortunately has been closed. But when I went, I don't know if you guys remember, it was really windy. And I definitely want to go back here when uh, the weather's a little bit... Oh, my God, a little bit more nice. Nice, guys. You're terribly yelling like a baby. So this is called Pike Street. The... Railroad is over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick little overview video of everything I was doing. Once again, this is Dover Station. Denville Station. Mars Plain Station. Marstown Station. Summit Station. Uh, South Orange Station. Um, East Orange Station. Newark Broad Street Station. And finally, Hoboken. Please stand back from the yellow line and please watch the gap when when uh when uh getting out of the train and the platform. Thank you. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.